Uh, today, I'm spending some time with Mrs. Uh, Rockwood, and uh, she's graciously agreed to film and edit this video. But we are going to Cigar Man at Lansdowne, the famed uh, tobacconist store that's only a couple blocks away that uh, I've mentioned many, many times before. I'm not going to spend too much time in there just because it is Saturday and uh, there's a lot going on at Lansdowne, so they're likely to be very busy. But I just wanted to give you guys a taste and show you a couple of the treasures that they have there. So, follow me. The promised land. <laughs> So here's the threshold and we just crossed it. So this is only one side of the place. Wall to wall, humidors, any cigar you can imagine from all over the world. And yes, Cubans are sold in Canada. So for those Cuban cigar aficionados, you can find anything you want here. As far as cigars go, I think my favorite are the uh, Alec Bradley Post Embargo. And these are Canadian prices, so bear that in mind for all of my international viewers. There's a nice uh, Cuban cabinet. Anything you can imagine. And it just keeps going. And everything's regulated, humidity-wise. Here, beautiful selection of ashtrays, humidors, you name it. Nice ashtrays, fancy lighters. Here you got your little cigarillos. Now in Canada, you'll notice that most, if not all of our tobacco products that are produced recently have these designs on them. Originally, you get nice cigar boxes and the more traditional bands, but now, for example, uh, required by, by law to have these olive drab bands over the original band. So if you buy one of these cigars, you take it off, you're likely to find the original band underneath it. So. And here are the house blends. And they come out of the same factory as those Cohibas, Romeo and Julietas, etc. They're just not banded. So very affordable, very, very lovely. Even got Bahikes for those of you who are into those. But this is my favorite part. The lovely and also ever rotating selection of pipes. So there's Petersons in here, there's Stanwells, there's uh, Claude Ramey is the one that I started off with. Um, you name it, they've, they've got it. Lots of Brigham as well. So there's a new line for Brigham. Um, tiny Meerschaums, you know. And every every uh, few days, new pipes will appear because this location will. Uh, will trade and, and bring in uh, stock from the other locations to sort of like even it out and based on demand and things like that. Uh, right here is the pipe tobacco humidor. Now there is a lot of the Mr. B's, which is Canadian. It's, uh, I believe it's owned by Brigham, but they pretty much have a blend of everything. And then you got your usuals, like you, know, you got your amphoras, you know, you got your Borkham Riffs. Uh, Sale, which is used to be Captain Black. It's called Sale now. Um, but then you'll find here things like uh, Autumn Evening or Sunday Picnic by Cornell and Deal. You know, they still have some Aurora and Beacon. So these are just some of the treasures, actually, that this place holds. Uh, here, all the Mac Baron blends. And did you notice? Original Dunhill tins. So here's some ready rub. And I think I saw. And here's some Durbar. So for all of you um, Balkan aficionados, uh, they still have some original Dunhill Durbar and some um, Dunhill ready rub. So for those of you who like, uh, for those of you who like, um, you know, a bit more of an aromatic Virginia or top Virginia, you can get that too. And. Da, 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 da. all the Samuel Gaweth you can hope for, right? Now, when is the last time you've walked into a tobacconist these days and seen this much of a Samuel Gaweth selection? Some more Mac Baron, 
They even have some of the original HH Acadian Perique. Uh, these here, now these are interesting. These are made by Mr. B's, the same ones that made the pouches higher up. Um, but this is basically Brigham's take on the classic Dunhill blends. So Day's End is Nightcap. The Mixture is my Mixture 965. Tudor Mixture is Elizabethan. Um, this would be the Flake equivalent. And then Yacht Club, instead of Royal Yacht, as you guessed it, you know, um, that beautiful um, topped Virginia that is very, very high in vitamin N. So they have so much selection here that you cannot find online, that you cannot find almost anywhere else, and you just gotta go hunting for it. But now, for something really special, here are some bulk McClellans. Danish, McTruffle, Latakia, Blended Virginia. And this is, you know, 400 grams of it, right? So it is a bit pricey, but they still carry the McClellan tobaccos. And it keeps going. Oriental Cavendish, Avenue Golden, Virginia, Oriental Cavendish. I mean, look at that. And they got some Solanis here. Where else can you find McClellan tobacco nowadays? There you go. That's wonderful, isn't it? Look at that. And this handy dandy uh, explanation and description of everything. So here we got some Cornell and Deal, Chenet Cake, Old Grove, Briar Fox, Bayou Morning Flake. Yeah, look at these, Aurora by McClellan's. 2009. 2009. Let's see if the beacon, again, 2009. I mean, this is just gorgeous, isn't it? And all you gotta do really is, is take the time to go and explore your local tobacconist. Now look at these dirt bars. For those of you who know the coating system. And these are the old tins too, because they're recessed, right? There's that lip, so it isn't like the new tins, like here the, uh, the ready rubbed are a little bit more new compared to uh, compared to the Durbar, and you can tell that by the way that the tin is flat at the top here, but there's actually a groove kind of running around here. So I think that's really really cool. And yeah, tons of McClellans. And lastly, another one of the treasures are some very special pipes. First of all, beautiful. Beautiful Meerschaum pipes. I've never had a Meerschaum before, but if I were to get one, it would be this one here, the basic billiard. But in the back, they carry some new Dunhills. All of them except for that Prince. It's a military mounted Prince. I couldn't find, because I'm the one that, that helped do the, the, the research uh, for, these, uh, for these pipes. I couldn't find um, a provenance for this Prince. Um, and if memory serves, it's either from the 70s or from the 90s. Um, but the silver ferrule is completely tarnished, but the rest of these are all pretty much brand new. And then there's more on this side. Now these are mostly done in the early 2000s for the most part, but hey, so it's it's the white spot by Alfred Dunhill, but uh, it's a Dunhill nonetheless, and it's actually quite rare to come across them, at least in Canada, in a tobacconist. So, yeah. Now we're just gonna ask the, uh, the gentleman behind the counter for some of the specs and where you can find them, and uh, we'll wrap up the video. Cheers. All right, well, thank you very much for uh, letting us do this little tour. No and uh, where can they find you? Well, we're at TD Place, uh, you know, the old C uh, Civic Center area. Yes. yes. And uh, so we're right in here across the street from Joey's. Uh, we got location in Westboro, and we have a location further up uh, Bank Street at Hare. Perfect. Thank you very much. My pleasure. I really appreciate it. Great to see you. Cheers. So that's it, everybody. Thank you very much. Uh, I just wanted to show you around my local tobacconist and show you the treasures that uh, 
that you can find in these places if you take the time to sort of dig through it. Again, this is a treasure trove, uh, and this is this is Candyland for a tobacconist uh, and any tobacco aficionado. So, uh, thanks very much, and I hope that you enjoy it as much as I do.